Hi everybody, I'm going to show you another gun. This one's not necessarily vintage. This gun would have been made in the 60s. It's a number 4 AYA, 28 inch barrels. As um, far as I can tell, it's choked, modified, and improved modified. It's uh, the number 4 AYA is just a pretty straightaway Anson and Dealey box lock. And it's got the little Dealey four end latch. They're a, they're a medium nice gun for, for an AYA. It's got the, the little plug thing there where you can, little shield where you can get your initials put. I just put this recoil pad on it. And I know I probably shouldn't have put a white line pad on it because it is a Spanish gun and that's more of an American thing, but hey, I like that look. Um, anyway, uh, AYA, what's that you say? Well, I don't know if I can pronounce it. It's right here on the side. The reason nobody says it is because nobody can pronounce it if you're not Spanish. Aguiar Ye Arenzable. So, there you go. It's butchered, I'm sure, but uh, that's the way I'm telling it. As long as I'm telling it that way, you got to prove me prove me wrong, I guess. Um, I always like the way the top looks on the AYA. The way they they have the these are called the fences. These the backs of the barrels called the fences, and this gun is in nice shape. It's got a the top tang is not quite in the center yet, so it's still got lots of miles left on it. Um, the Anson, or the, I'm sorry, the AYA does not have an oil finish stock. It's a, I don't know, varnish polyurethane of some sort, I'm guessing. Uh, lacquer. But it's a decent gun for a shooting gun, a shooter. Um, I'm planning to take it to, to a, uh, tower shoot. I've been invited to a tower shoot with the gun club that I am part of. Um, there would be 30 people trying to take my money and me trying to take theirs, but I've never been to a tower shoot, but from what I know, they um, they throw birds from a 30-foot tower and you're stationed at pegs all the way around, 30, 30 positions, and you change positions every five shots or something. Um, anyways, uh, I'm hoping taking the money from these old rich guys is going to be like taking candy from a baby, but I might be just trying to keep my head above water. You never know. I might have so much money in my back pocket when I come home, I'll look like one of those barbecue-eating boys from the South. I will have to get a bit bigger pair of pants. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some more things about this gun, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about about um, what our some of our goals are for this channel. Um, this is this is a saddle I'm working on right now, and this is another one over here. This is my saddle shop. So that's the other thing I got going at the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around now, and, and I'm gonna talk to you from the other side of it. Okay, this is the, the AYA. It's, it fits me real nice. It doesn't have a cast on the stock, so cast means if I hold it like that, if it was cast left-handed, it would, it would go off that way a little bit, the stock would. If it's right-handed, it would go off this way a little bit. Um, but it's straight, so I like that because I can. it's an easy gun for me to find a home for. Uh, if I need to, most of the guns I own at some point are for sale. That's sort of the point of it all. Um, I'm trying to make a business of it because I, I love old doubles and I know quite a bit about them. So when I fix them, um, I'm learning more all the time. So I'm trying to make that a part of my part of my life because it's a it's a passion of mine. But, uh, that's what a AYA with ejectors, by the way, I forgot to mention. Yeah, 
decent little gun. I'm gonna go down and take those old men. I'll take their money. I'm gonna part them from their money. I'm gonna get between them and their money. <laughs>